we've all got to start somewhere. I didn't, I, just, I knew I wanted to film a video, but I didn't know how or where to start or what I was going to do it about. And so I just pulled out my drone, took a couple of shots. That led to me taking a couple of shots on this camera, which led to me talking to y'all. My, my tooth is starting to heal up, which is good. If I would have had to replace replace the tooth, that would have cost me six grand, which would have been my whole entire bank account. So that that's, that's good. good. Now I'm just like stuck in LA traffic, you know, um, starting to experience that for, for myself now, you know. LA is finally starting to uh, open up a little bit. I think it's at like 10, 25 percent as far as the uh, virus goes. Um, even the gyms, okay, are starting to open, which is exciting, uh, but none of the showers are are open yet and so i can't it, i still can't shower at the gyms and so that's kind of that's kind of poopy and now we're here at uh ralph's where something is going on there's like a helicopter hovering above over here i think there's something going on over there so i will let y'all know what happened over there in a second i'm actually over here at this ralph's though because I wanted to find Rob here. Oh. How's it going, dude? Good, how you doing, man? Good, good. Uh, so Rob here is, if, if you don't know, in uh, previous videos, I met Rob a long time ago. It was super nice. He, uh, You noticed me in this parking lot, Picked right? you right out. Why, I got the license plate. And then I saw the back of the car, with, and then that was it. I knew it was you. <laughs> and so we, we actually got to talking for like 20 minutes exactly, or something. Yeah. and. Uh, ever since then, I've been looking for him to get him on the channel because everyone's been wondering where you're at, man. Yeah, in the hospital, in and out of the hospital a couple times. I got robbed downtown, you know. A couple bad guys got me in an elevator. They wanted my money and stuff. They wanted my ID. I told them, it's too hard to get an ID yeah. replacement, so you ain't getting it. So they decided to rough me up a little bit and took off running like little scared punks. Oh, my God. I'm sorry to hear that, it, man. It happens, man. Life on the street, man. Yeah. So you're 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 homeless then. You're living on on Skid Row, right? That's right. I'm down there, all, right off San Pedro. Yeah, we got a tent. Me and my buddy Chris we got a tent down there. Okay. Yeah. Could you uh, could you tell me a little bit about that or tent life, man? Jeez. Uh, not much. <laughs> not much to tell, man. There's not a lot down there. You know, somebody's got to be there all the time. You know, because of what goes on downtown. Um, you mean like security and police? Exactly or? right. Yeah. No, one of us is down there in the tent all the time because oh, of what okay. goes crazy happens oh, excuse my language crazy no, stuff fine. happens downtown man. downtown los angeles but you know i mean it's it's life man so i, I guess that's where you keep a lot of your stuff then so yeah, one of y'all yeah. always stays at the tent to make exactly sure everything's right. yeah, good yeah i mean yeah either, it's either me or chris down there all the time yeah i see okay and uh this ralph's right here this is this is your your spot that you, you wh how, why why do you spend time here i come up here two three four days a week and panhandle you know um i don't have a lot um, I burned a lot of bridges. I burned every bridge I had, as a matter of fact. Plus a couple buildings and maybe a house or two, along with a couple dumpster fires along the way. Um, not literally, but my relationship because of drugs, because of drug use. Um, after my accident, I got hooked on pills really bad and it screwed me up. So, I mean, what kind of things do you deal with, like living on, on Skid Row? Like, what are, what are some of the things that you've really, had to experience? Really, well, I mean, robbery assaults um screaming all night people screaming all night long it's crazy down there um mainly if you keep to yourself keep your mouth shut um keep an eye on your shit, you're good wow. you know you just gotta mind your business basically you know stay stay away from the street politics because they'll straight they'll, they'll suck you up it's like in jail they'll suck you up um how long have uh, how long have you been on Skid Row? Uh, I've been down since 2006. 2006. Yep. Oh my goodness. All right, Rob. Well, thank you for coming on the channel. It means a lot to me that I actually got to be able to get you on. And not a problem. Not anytime, man. Anytime. How can uh, how can people help you out if they want to? Um, I got a PayPal account I set up. It's under KI4NGE. Um, and I will I'll I'll put it like right here so. Y'all can uh, help out Rob if y'all want to. So uh, as me and Rob were kind of doing our thing, I just stumbled upon, upon a subscriber here. Yep. What's I'll, your name, dude? Jason. <laughs> Jason? Yeah. Nice Jason. to meet you, Jason. I was driving by here and then I just saw his face. <laughs> I was really confused. Like, is that, is that really him? Oh my God. I'm so glad to see you. I was 
just getting my tripod out because I'm about to skate a little bit and the little centerpiece right here that connects all my cameras and everything together fell out of this and straight into that drainage ditch. Alright, we're at the West Los Angeles Courthouse Ledges, one of my favorite spots. Ironically, we went from one skate spot to another skate spot. This right here is Stoner Skate Park. This is uh, one of the spots where I'll sit and wait for, for water. So with that said, we're picking up from our first restaurant right here called Best King Pizza. pisses me off is when uh, I have to wait 10 to 15 minutes for my customer to come out and he just he never shows up okay so this right here is mine I'm, I'm keeping this this is my chicken okay I canceled the order and uh, don't waste my time <laughs> All right, guys, let's uh, open up this bag and see what we got here for, for my free meal. Got some macaroni and cheese. Is it obviously a chicken? I think it's a chicken sandwich. I was just taking my last bathroom break before I get ready for bed, and I completely forgot that I actually checked the P.O. box yesterday. F***ing mail time. Yeah! Quite a bit of mail today. Let's start with this box. Aki Direct, and this looks like uh, a, a, a a dash cam. That is a fancy looking thing right there. This is actually much needed. So seriously, thank you, Aki, for, for, for sending me this. Next, we've got this Amazon package. It's a book. It's a book. I, I freaking love reading, so thank you. It's called The Naked Mind, and I'm not sh exactly sure who sent me this, but it just says the book discounter in Las Vegas, so whoever you are, seriously, thank you. Someone sent me uh, a Bible. Whoever sent me this, thank you. April Gledhill. Thank you for this package. Another book. This one is called Pigs in the Parlor. Oh, sh oh, I just hit my knife against my car. God, th this package is... Oh my gosh. What do we got here? The Chosen. Austin. Best regards, Austin. And thank you for the Starbucks gift card, Austin. Uh, inside of this was a whole bunch of s random CDs? What? What is all this? Benjamin Laville YouTube. Shout out whoever you are. But we've got two more letters. Oh, another Sta Starbucks gift card. That's what's up. Uh, Diane, greetings from San Diego. I plan- I'm coming. Okay, y'all be patient. I'm coming. Thank you for the Starbucks gift card and for the handwritten letter. Don Maher. Don Maher. Spring has sprung. 20, 20 buckaroos. Seriously, Don, thank you. That's about it for the P.O. box. Thank you to everyone that has been sending me things. It means a lot. I love y'all.
Starbucks, thanks to, to y'all. And uh, it's too cold to take a shower right now. And so I'm gonna get a couple of orders before we go to the beach. The first order is for moon juice. I just dropped off to that huge like apartment complex and uh, I figure since we're over here right next to the beach now I just might as well take a shower. all clean got my Austin Texas shirt on with a LA hat which kind of doesn't make any sense but also lets people know that I guess I travel and whatnot but uh, I'm grabbing some lunch this is actually one of my favorite spots right here to grab lunch is kava life hack though ask for a kid's portion this is everything you get for under eight dollars spicy chicken with cucumber white rice pita chips round bread thing and some freshly squeezed lemonade 449 for gas are you taking a dump on my face that is ridiculous uh it's just way too like just crowded every everybody's out today and uh it's hard to find parking here in the santa monica area and so we're gonna drive up north we're gonna go back over to calabasas where i know we can uh, make a little bit of money all right just made it to the woodland hills slash calabasas and we've already got our first order for BJ's restaurant right here. Just dropped off the Blaze Pizza to this little complex right here that reminds me of rehab when I was in, in rehab they would keep us in a, in a in an apartment complex that looked looked just like that and I would have to share one uh, one apartment with like four other people but those were actually some of the funnest times in my life was trying to get my life together oh. in rehab so I think that was going to be the last order of the video, okay? I'm definitely going to have to go back and work tonight, but it is dead right now. It's like 3 p.m., and I'm pretty sure this video has gone, gone on long enough, okay? I created a Patreon. I, I mentioned it in the last video, but I'm actually going to post the link down in the description below. Um, and it's only five bucks a month. I plan on uh, maybe doing something. I'm not really sure. I'm going to be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm not sure if I plan on doing anything with it. Um, if anything, it's just another way to support your boy, but I'd really like to put a private Discord on there, private chat, private messages where people can um, easily get a hold of me if they want to communicate with me, and then also might put some, you know, exciting news on there firsthand uh, so y'all can see what's up before anyone else does. And maybe some private videos, maybe deleted scenes, I don't know. But yeah, guys, um, shout out Rob again. Seriously, thank you for coming on and, you know, shining a light on what's actually happening in, in the world right now you know i'd like to be able to help more people and i feel like the patreon might help me do that you know what i mean so with that said please like subscribe tell your friend uh, uh, Sp uh spider-man about the the channel your family and friends we out here stuttering okay out here trying to make movies and uh I freaking love y'all. Thank y'all for everything y'all y'all have done in my life. Y'all have been seriously helping me out more than more than y'all realize. And so, uh, two years, two years living in my car—that's crazy. I'm gonna have to make a another video, a special video for that or something. Okay, I'm talking too much. We will catch y'all on the the uh, video after this one. All right, all right, cool. All right.